Have you ever wondered about the marvels of Soviet engineering? There's a universe of machines, each more outlandish than the last, crafted with a blend of ingenuity and audacity that is uniquely Soviet. We're about to embark on a journey, a chronological expedition into the heart of the Soviet machine world from the early days of the Soviet Union to its final moments, we'll uncover the most astonishing creations that you'll hardly believe exist. Prepare to be amazed by the ingenuity, inventiveness, and sheer audacity of Soviet engineering. The story of Soviet machines begins in the early 20th century, a time of revolution and radical change. As the last embers of Tsarist Russia were extinguished, a new force emerged, determined to industrialize and modernize the vast expanses of the Soviet Union, and with this determination came the birth of some truly remarkable machines. One of the earliest and most audacious of these was the Tsar tank. Unlike anything seen before or since, it boasted enormous tricycle-like wheels and a hull like a battleship. Despite its innovative design, the Tsar tank was a failure, its large wheels sinking into the ground during testing. But it was a clear demonstration of the Soviet Union's willingness to push the boundaries of possibility. Next came the first Soviet tractor, a symbol of the nation's drive towards agricultural modernization. The Fordson Putilovitz, as it was known, was a robust and reliable machine, built to till the vast Soviet fields. Its success laid the foundation for future Soviet tractor design and played a crucial role in the nation's agricultural revolution. And then, there was the Ant-20 Maxim Gorky, an aircraft of epic proportions. As the largest aircraft of its time, the Maxim Gorky was a flying propaganda machine, complete with a printing press, photographic lab, and radio station. It was a potent symbol of Soviet technological prowess and ambition. But these early creations were just the beginning. They were the first steps in a journey of innovation and design that would see the Soviet Union create some of the most unique and powerful machines the world has ever seen. From the depths of the ocean to the far reaches of space, these machines would push the boundaries of human achievement and forever change the way we perceive technology. These early years set the stage for the explosive growth of Soviet machine design that was about to come. The mid-20th century saw the golden age of Soviet engineering, a time that bore witness to some of the most formidable machines ever created. This period, spanning from the 1940s to the 1960s, was marked by remarkable technological advancements and innovative engineering feats. Let's start with the T-34 tank, a machine that redefined the concept of armored warfare. Produced in astronomical numbers during World War II, it was a critical weapon in turning the tide against Nazi Germany. The T-34 was a marvel of robustness, reliability, and deadly firepower. It was simple enough to be mass-produced, yet sophisticated enough to dominate the battlefield, striking fear into the hearts of enemies. Next, let's take to the skies with the MiG-15 jet, a cornerstone of Soviet air power during the Korean War. This swept-wing fighter, with its powerful engine and high-altitude capabilities, was a game-changer in aerial combat. It was fast, agile, and packed a powerful punch with its heavy armament. The MiG-15 became a symbol of Soviet air supremacy and greatly influenced the design of future fighter jets around the globe. But the Soviets didn't stop at dominating the land and the skies, they dared to reach for the stars with the Vostok spacecraft. This was the vessel that carried the first human, Yuri Gagarin, into space in 1961. This technological marvel, a product of the intense space race against the United States, catapulted the Soviet Union to the forefront of space exploration. The Vostok spacecraft was a testament to the audacious spirit of Soviet engineers who dared to dream big and make the impossible possible. These machines not only showed the world the might of Soviet engineering, but also played pivotal roles in shaping world history. They weren't just machines, they were symbols of power, resilience, and the indomitable spirit of a nation that refused to be left behind in the race of technological supremacy. As the Soviet Union moved towards its final decades, the machines became even more audacious. In the twilight years of the Soviet Union, the spirit of innovation was not ready to go gentle into that good night. Engineers and designers were pushing boundaries, creating machines that defied expectations and wrote their own rules. The results were some of the most remarkable machines of the era. Take, for instance, the Ikrinoplan. This colossal beast dubbed the Caspian Sea Monster was a ground-effect vehicle that skimmed the surface of the water at high speeds. It was bigger than any airplane and faster than any ship. 
It was a unique fusion of aviation and naval technology that showcased the daring spirit of Soviet engineering. Then there was the Buran spacecraft. While it bore a striking resemblance to the American space shuttle, the Buran was a testament to Soviet ingenuity. It was the first space plane capable of fully automated flight, including both launch and landing. Even though it only flew once, the Buran remains a symbol of the Soviet Union's ambitious foray into space. And who could forget the Typhoon-class submarine? It was the largest submarine ever built, a titan beneath the waves. With its ability to launch nuclear missiles while submerged, the Typhoon class was a chilling display of the Soviet Union's military prowess. These machines and others like them were not just feats of engineering. They were statements of intent, symbols of a nation that refused to be outdone. They were a testament to the audacity, the ambition, the sheer will to innovate that defined the Soviet Union in its later years. Yet, as we now know, these machines were also harbingers of the end. The economic burden of these ambitious projects was part of the strain that ultimately led to the Soviet Union's collapse. These machines were the last hurrah of Soviet engineering, the final show of might before the fall. Now let's delve into the cream of the crop, the truly outlandish Soviet machines. Take a moment and imagine the most extreme, the most audacious, the most jaw-dropping feats of engineering ever conceived. Yes, you're on the right track. Now amplify that by a hundred and you're inching closer to the mind-boggling realm of Soviet machinery. Let's start with the Tsar Bomba, a name that sends shivers down the spines of those who know it. The Tsar Bomba was not just any nuclear weapon. This monstrosity was the single most powerful device ever detonated by mankind. Its explosion was equivalent to 58 million tons of TNT. Let that sink in for a moment. It's like setting off 1,000 Hiroshima bombs simultaneously. The mushroom cloud reached heights that rivaled even Mount Everest. This was a machine of unparalleled power and sheer terror, a testament to the audacious spirit of Soviet engineering. Moving from the depths of destruction to the heights of human aspiration, we land on the N-1 moon rocket. This was the Soviet Union's answer to America's Apollo program. It was an ambitious goal, a moon landing, powered by a machine, that was nothing short of extraordinary. The N-1 rocket was a behemoth, standing as tall as a 15-story building. It was intended to carry cosmonauts to the moon, a task that required an enormous amount of power and precision. Despite several unsuccessful launches, the N-1 remains a symbol of the Soviet Union's daring ambitions in the space race. These machines, the Tsar Bomba and the N-1 moon rocket, may seem crazy by today's standards, but they were born out of an era that valued audacity, that pushed the boundaries of what was possible. They are a testament to a time when engineers dared to dream big, even in the face of overwhelming odds. These machines in all their audacity embody the spirit of Soviet engineering, daring, ambitious, and unafraid to push the boundaries. The Soviet Union may be gone, but its machines live on. A testament to the audacious spirit of Soviet engineering, these machines have left an indelible mark on the pages of history. Let's take a quick journey back through the annals of time. From the birth of the Soviet machines in the early 20th century, we saw a determined nation striving for industrial and technological supremacy. It was a time of innovation and boldness, producing machines that were ahead of their time, then came the Golden Age spanning from the 40s to the 60s, a period characterized by monumental achievements. The world witnessed the might of Soviet machinery, from groundbreaking space programs to world-class weaponry. As we moved into the late Soviet era, the machines continued to evolve, reflecting the changing times. Despite the mounting challenges, the Soviet Union kept pushing the boundaries of what was possible. And let's not forget the craziest of them all, those machines that seemed to defy logic and reason. They were the epitome of audacity, a reflection of a nation that dared to dream big. Their impact on history is undeniable and their legacy continues to inspire engineers and inventors around the globe. These machines serve as a poignant reminder of a bygone era, a time when the impossible was made possible. So next time when you marvel at a piece of modern machinery, remember the audacious Soviet machines that helped pave the way.